Last video I want to post right now, and that's simple. I just want to cover a second and talk about uh, the reason I have chosen these three tools uh, to start, you know, making sheets for. These are the tools that I carry with me, you know, myself. Uh, number one, my everyday carry. The Mora Companion, like I said, I carry this thing with me every single day and I use and abuse the ever-loving tar out of this thing. Uh, and you can get a close-up of the blade and there are scratches and stuff all over this thing. But, I love it. I mean, I can get this thing dull one minute, minute, thirty seconds later, you know, it's razor sharp again. Um, it's just a great knife. You know, when you put a 90 degree on the spine, I mean, let's face it, she throws sparks nice. Ten ninety five steel. Can't beat that, guys. It's gonna last you. It's just a great knife. What can I say? Uh, the other one, Becker BK two. Just like the Mora, I am constantly looking for the biggest bang for the dollar. And when it comes to the Becker BK two, what can you say about this thing? It's like a tank with an edge. I mean, you got a quarter inch blade here. And, I mean, you can use this thing as a pry bar, you know, it's not to everybody's standard. Some people don't like, you know, that thick of a blade, but this thing is a workhorse, it's a beast, and again, just like my Mora, I beat the soup out of this knife, and nothing faces it. It, it. You know, it also holds a really great edge, and, you know, there's, there's a reason it is the heavyweight champion of the bushcrafting world. Bar none. It's a great knife. Now, is the Cold Steel Trailhawk the best tomahawk in the world? No, it's not. Um, is it great for $30? You betcha. Uh, you know, invest a little bit of time with this thing and I think you can turn you know a thirty dollar tomahawk into a hundred dollar tomahawk easily. Uh, the one thing that I despised about this thing when I first got it was the fact that the edge was horrible. I mean it was as sharp as a butter knife. Um, it also had the black coating on it. Took the black coating off of it. Uh, spent several hours trying to get that edge the way I wanted it. Finally got it nice and sharp. The other thing I hate is the handle but I'm in the process of making a new handle for it. But, you know, the reason why I think this is a, a nice tool is the simple fact that it is this and it is this in one. I mean, I do not need to carry both of these if I have this. Um, with the handle on, I mean, number one, you know, I mean, you got a hammer, you've got a decent, you know, chopping tool, uh, throws very nicely, and it's so lightweight that I mean, it's it's it makes for a really great you know weapon in a pinch. Um, you know, take the handle off. Let's see if I can do this without banging up my floors. Take the handle off, and in essence, you have that right there. You have a knife, you have a scraper, you have a mortar, you have a splitting wedge, and I mean, in a, in a pinch, you have a nice little angle right there, you know, a little bit of persuasion, and you'd have a decent 90 degree angle, and you could hit your ferro rod with that as well. So, that is, you know, the reasons. I have chose the tools that I have because like I said I look for the biggest bang for my buck you know I just like most people out there am an honest hard-working person and I have expensive taste myself the Pathfinder knife 
and the, uh, the Pathfinder Tomahawk, those are great products, and I would love to have one, but a lot of times my bank account just says, you know what, you can't have that right now, you're going to have to wait. These are the tools that I bought for, you know, the money that I had, and they have served me very, very well, and they're serving everybody, you know, very well, and I think that's why people love these tools. So, anyway, thanks for your time, guys. Appreciate it.